Why is Gore doing a life cycle assessment? Gore's founders, Bill and Vive Gore, taught us the importance of acting responsibly. Based on this, quality has always been a crucial element of our product strategy, along with durability and performance. Over the years, we've also done a lot to reduce our product's environmental impact. A major milestone in our journey was the introduction of Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA, in 1992. This scientific method gives us the opportunity to fully understand our product's environmental impact. By looking at the big picture, we can continue to act deliberately and responsibly. What is a Life Cycle Assessment? Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA, is an internationally recognized standard and currently the best method available to scientifically measure the environmental impact of a product. The great thing is, LCA doesn't consider just one aspect. It looks at the bigger picture. By analyzing the whole life cycle of a product, from raw material extraction to disposal, and by looking at different factors like energy consumption, carbon emissions, and water pollution, for example, in each stage. The final LCA report summarizes the various impacts of the product and translates them into 20 different indicators. That holistic view from cradle to grave enables us to identify how to minimize the product's impact. But what does that mean exactly? Let's take the indicator global warming potential, also referred to as carbon emissions, as an example. In 2013, we measured the environmental impact of a typical Gore-Tex outdoor jacket. The results show that production and distribution have the greatest impact. 65% of the global warming potential measured in CO2 equivalent occurs at the beginning of the jacket's life cycle whereas disposal contributes less than 1%. This means that the less often a new jacket needs to be produced, the smaller the impact on the environment. In the LCA, we assumed that a Gore-Tex jacket was worn for five years. That comes with a carbon footprint of 72.7 kilograms CO2 equivalent, which is comparable to the environmental impact of driving a mid-sized car that consumes 7.5 liters fuel per 100 kilometers for 270 kilometers. What if you need to buy two less durable jackets in this period because they fail early? This would result in carbon emissions of 120.12 kilograms CO2 equivalent to stay dry and comfortable during the same period of five years. Transferred to our car, you'd caused an environmental impact of 442 kilometers instead of 270. If a million consumers choose to buy a more durable jacket half as often, this could save the equivalent of circling the globe four and a half times with that same car. What do we learn from this? Our waterproof, windproof, and breathable fabrics play an important role in the environmental impact of Gore-Tex products. Since the production and distribution are the most critical stages, we need to provide comfort and protection for a long time. Because the less often you need to buy a new piece, the smaller its effect on the environment will be. Gore is taking its commitment to continually decrease the environmental impact of its products seriously. Using and promoting LCA as an important instrument to develop better sustainability practices for the apparel and footwear industry is part of that. We develop product innovations and performance test methods like the RAIN or the walking simulator test. And we cooperate closely with our partners to make pieces that people can use and love for a long time. Moreover, we are committed to several sustainability initiatives in the apparel and footwear industry to make our products more eco-friendly. Another important factor for the product's impact is you. Switch to buying products that last long and buy fewer of them. Wash your pieces according to their official recommendations to ensure that they function and last longer. As you can see, 
we can continuously decrease our environmental impact in order to contribute to a cleaner and more sustainable world. But we can only do this together with our partners and with the end user.